Well, we're just, we just went live. Well, good. Maybe. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Hello, Christina. Oh, come on. I, I don't see a video yet. Let's go this way. And Adrian, good morning. Here we go. It's time for today in Yuma with Jennifer Blackwell and Teresa Cross. You can listen to today. Good morning, good morning, everyone. Hi, Dad. Hi, Ace. All right, are we ready? Hi, Jean and Marcy, Aswena, Renee. Gilbert, good morning. Hey, ready? Gilbert. Hope your son had a nice birthday. Ready? Yep, I'm ready. Welcome to Today in Yuma. I'm Jennifer Blackwell. And I'm Teresa Straub. We are here live on Z93, Outlaw Country, MonsterMediaYuma.com, and the FTS Automotive Facebook Live feed. Good morning to all of you out there. Now we have a full show coming up today. Sarah Wisdom with her bright and smiling face will be here. Yes. That part you will see on Facebook Live. <laughs> Sarah is with the Yuma County Library District, and we missed her yesterday when we had our field trip. But yes. she, she saw our video, and she heard all about it. Good, good. And we'll give, uh, when she gets in, we'll talk a little bit more about it and how easy it was. Because it definitely cool. was super easy. That is right. And uh, Amy Grace says good morning. Good so, morning, Amy. Good morning to you also. And hi, Bino and Gilbert. Glad your son did have a great birthday yesterday. Now, I don't like to start off on a negative note, but yes. I had inquiries and we were posting earlier about some road closures. I was, you know, getting the information on the radio and on Facebook Live as quickly as I could. Yuma Police Department issued a release shortly before we went on air. And at 506 this morning, officers did respond to the 900 block of South First Avenue in reference to shots fired. When they arrived, they found a 23-year-old female with gunshot wounds. She was transported to YRMC, and there are no suspects in custody at this time. The police department is encouraging any, anyone who might have information, you can either call them at 373-4700, or you can call 78 Crime if you wish to remain anonymous. Exactly. Yeah, and it's an unfor it's unfortunate, you know, the holidays right around the corner. It seems like we're having like a lot of crime and accidents, and it, it's really sad to see. But we hope that everybody stays safe out there, especially during this time. And in a, a lot of accidents, we can't stress enough to drive safe. No texting and driving. Yeah, put your phones down. Put your yeah. phones down. Take your time because... Focus focus on the road and the exactly. task at hand. Everything else can wait. There's nothing more important than you responding to that text at that very moment. Exactly. And we had a very tragic situation. We lost Charles Cordery, who was a just a longtime member of this community. I knew his mom. I you know I worked with his mom for years on various projects. And, but the entire family, such a loss, just 55 years old. He has a wife and children. Yeah. So our thoughts and prayers go out to the Cordery family. Definitely. And we want to remind you again, especially on a lot of these county roads, please slow down. There, Some of them are not four-way stops. They're not signaled at all four, all four points. It might be generally out there. There are more stop signs, uh, north south stop signs. Yes. East west travel doesn't stop. Exactly. And I go through that area every day, at least going to work. And right now it's dark in the morning. And it, you know, you do have to pay attention. There are a lot of our agricultural workers yep. in those areas. There was a big spot a week ago just on the corner of Highway 95 and County 14. Dark in the morning, there was a, uh, one of the gentlemen standing on the side of the road speaking to someone else in one of the other vehicles. And I would not have seen him had there not been a vehicle a little further west of him that had their lights pointed east. They had uh, the headlights on. Yeah. So it illuminated that man, but he was very close to the roadway. And you have ag buses. There weren't school buses traveling at that time, but there's agricultural buses and a lot of people headed to work that were going eastbound. And I'm on the other side, so there's, it's not a really, really large roadway with no, the big shoulder. No. You know, you have the the dirt on the side right next to the field, but all the, the individuals were parked over there. So please, everyone pay attention. Scoot over a little bit more if you can. Slow down. Yeah. And, you know, those ad buses, like, I'm glad you mentioned it. You know, they're picking up and they're, and they're dropping off. 
in our, you know, they're in our, our neighborhoods and our communities, um, and they don't have that flashing stop sign. Um, and I know yesterday, uh, I barely seen them. It was already dark when they had dropped them off and they were crossing the road and, and it wasn't super illuminated. Um, and I, I caught them thankfully just in time, but they don't have those flashing stop signs and they are, you know, they do get off and go in, you know, different directions, similar to what the kids do when they get off of, of the buses. So we just definitely want to slow down be careful and you know what I noticed too yesterday um, out doing last minute Christmas shopping and things um, the stores are super busy and um, there's some particular stores that I go into that are always busy and um, we have an influx now with our winter visitors and things we need to have patience the uh, it's sad to see because uh, one of my favorite makeup stores I may or may not have been in again um, okay. again <laughs> Um, they're always busy, and those girls do their best to uh, to get everybody through those lines as quick as possible. And you know what? You, you uh, unfortunately you can't just run in and run out of a store right now. It's just that time of year. So you definitely want to have patience. Have patience with the people behind the the counters, your the different cashiers, because a lot of them have things that they have steps that they have to go through when they're checking you out whether it be offering you a uh, store department store credit card whether it be signing you up for the rewards program you know so you definitely have to be patient when you go into these stores um, I find myself you know shopping on my lunchtime and I'm like okay slow down they're going you're, you'll get through you'll get through and take advantage of those self checkouts the self checkouts are, are super quick if you could do it yourself get a, I did that yesterday and it was super quick they it's are, much better than having to go through the line they're a big time saver and I generally do that at Sam's because they have the scan and go app yeah. especially this I time haven't here. tried that Love. must do it you can't yeah. use it for alcohol or gift certain gift cards uh -huh. uh, some you can but generally they, they have to be activated uh -huh. but still it or, or photo you can't use it for photo uh -huh. but if you're doing your normal grocery shopping or grabbing a couple things there we're you know the Blackwell house we go through a lot of protein yeah so we make a couple trips trips there a week to grab the case of the protein we'll scan it and you go out you hold your phone up because you pay for it on your phone uh -huh. and then they have a little scanner at the door and oh, cool. the, the individual standing there you know usually they check it with the highlighter uh -huh. they scan it that way it acknowledges that it's that you've been cleared and then the screen changes and you can leave and you have your your receipt saved on there also that's super awesome I I've seen it I just haven't actually it's just to me I, it's like another app on my phone but shoot if it's worth yeah, it, it it's, it's, it's one saver. of those that's worth it, it so is. we'll definitely and, have to try a lot it. of the other stores too some people think well having these self checkouts you know takes away the jobs but I look at it too that there are still individuals at all those other checkout stands that are helping people oh, yeah I'm saving them a little bit of time Definitely, and and you know what? I'll get in there with a full basket of groceries, and I'm the type of person when I grocery shop, I kind of put it together, my my cart together, how Organize I want that, mm -hmm. so I can put these all up together, knowing they're all going to go in the same bags. This all to get my all my frozen foods together. I kind of do that. I just I just kind of do it as I go. So if if all the other I will do a full basket of food at the self-checkout and it makes it easy for me just to go through bag it up and put it in my cart and put my money in and go you know it is a lot quicker than having to stand in line. just don't do that at the 20 items or less aisle because people will call you out and be upset on Facebook no no, <laughs> no. self-checkouts I don't think it's, they have a 20 no items. I don't no, they, the they self, don't have they the don't have self checkout a, I think does have a limit if you live on which which one you go to at my neighborhood store that I go to it doesn't because like I said I've I've gone through with with the whole basket of food um, now there is there is some stores that d that I've seen you're right that, that they'll do say have it's it, twenty items or less the one that I frequent all the time and and use on a regular basis over here yeah it's it's fantastic well you get a system down you know what yeah you do. and plus I, why wait in the line is you know we're working moms we have to get home and make get, dinner and exactly. right now wrap presents and and all this kind of stuff and it, I'm not gonna wait if I don't have to so what is in front of any oh it's the little tripod I'm, I know, I'm, I I'm, I'm looking at it too. Yeah. It's, it's like someone's in front of her at the theater so yeah bobbing their head <laughs> Well, I see her reflection in this. In I know. The I try not right to stand here, that way. But and it looks like choice. somebody's standing in the window. I, I, I think of all the days Anita should probably get a shot of my newsroom would be this morning. I Why did you clean it? Yes, because we were talking about it. She's gonna go get it. I don't want you guys trash talking. You can't. Me. You can't see it in the dark. You're gonna have to go in there. Maybe I'll. It's break. illuminated just I enough. Put the light off in there. <laughs> Actually, you can see your surfaces. 
Oh, oh yeah, oh. I know. It's unusual. Don't <laughs> look under the desk. Smokes. Don't look down there. Don't look under the rugs in the, the closet. Bag. The yes. trash box. Yeah. <laughs> no, so just a reminder overall, more patience with everyone you're dealing with. Yes. And they will hopefully they will reciprocate that patience and that kindness. Exactly. And speaking of kindness, our kindness calendar for today. What's the date today? Today is 20. the 20th. Today is thank people who do things for you, but you may take for granted. So thank people for the little things, mm -hmm. you know, uh, making dinner, uh, putting your clothes out in the morning, all those little things that, you know, even at work, I, there's plenty of little things that everybody does for each other. Um, I think I like that one a lot because it, a lot of people don't get recognized for those little things. That's right. And some, a lot of times people aren't looking for that recognition, but it's no. nice just to hear a thank you or hey, oh, I appreciate that. It's, yes. just, it's the kind gesture. Exactly. I appreciated those cinnamon rolls Anita made. This yes, <laughs> Anita was <laughs> up like at one thirty this morning. She could not sleep. So as a result, we got to reap the benefits of the deliciousness that she yes. put together. And boy, and were they delicious. It's not, and it's WTF Wednesday. That's the feature that she does. And we like that it food fell into place. Uh, <laughs> I, I am not complaining, that's for sure. <laughs> now, I want to let everyone know this information came together yesterday. We, uh, by now, I think we all know about that horrific accident that claimed the life of Dora Lee and Levi Korea, mother mm -hmm. and son, and her two, two of her other children were seriously injured in the accident last Thursday. A car wash has been set up this Saturday, that's the 23rd, starting at 10 o'clock at IHOP. I think it's going to last a couple hours, but I'm pretty sure if they have a steady line of people, they won't turn anyone exactly. away. They are looking to raise money for Hector Correa and his family during this very difficult time. They're looking for donations of $5 or more, and every little bit helps. Volunteers are also needed so they can help make a difference. Exactly. If you need more information, I shared the information last night, and Jennifer Rogers is the point of contact. She's the a Facebook friend and she's also a very good friend of Hector's that's why she wanted to do something okay. like this that would provide some of the funds more immediate they, there is a GoFundMe they've raised a, raised a considerable about a, amount of money but look they're they're planning two funerals and um, a very large uh, mm -hmm. mountain of medical bills too yes, so but this will help during the interim too with some of the, the challenges and and you know Christmas is Monday I can't even fathom the the devastation that this family is feeling so please continue to lift them up in prayer and you know, if if you have the opportunity to see any, see any of them, just give them lots of love. And there's a special thank you going out today, isn't there? There is. I'm not sure the exact time, but some individuals who were involved with um, with the rescue efforts are going to be recognized. And we'll have more about that later. Good. I'm so excited. Real quick, we have some birthdays today. Busy, busy birthday day on my list, too. Yes. Okay. So I have... Uh, the, the cutest little baby boy, and I'm not saying that because he's family. Well, I consider them family, <laughs> but um, baby Louis Gill, uh, Louis, the Gill family has been part of our family. Um, probably, I think when I was speaking to them, they met me when I was maybe not even one years old. So they have a lot of stories, which I love to hear. Um, but um, it, baby Louis is my godbrother's son, and he turns two years old today. He is the cutest little boy. We, we celebrated his birthday this past weekend, but today is his actual birthday so we want to wish baby Louie a happy second birthday uh, the beautiful Melissa Beacon and uh, two longtime friends Brandon Easterday and Tyler Pitts we want to wish you all a happy birthday and I have Natalie Gomez she is an absolute sweetheart celebrating a birthday today and Josh Ramos I've known Josh for a number of years Norma Lee can also celebrating December 20th for her special day and Paula Maria or Paula Marie Sanchez has a birthday too. They celebrate oh. a birthday with Jonah Hill. He's thirty-three. Wow! I I, I thought he was older. Well. <laughs> <laughs> I did, but you know what? He he looks great. He he's one of he was one of those that lost a lot of weight there for a while. So now he you know he looks he looks more his age. But I, I did I didn't think I thought he was older than thirty-three. He's been in a lot of movies so these last few years. He's been pretty busy. He, yeah. he uh, has an active uh, acting career for sure. Well, we, again, Sarah Wisdom coming up from the library just after this break, but we want to let you know we have a couple giveaways going on. One, I, our social media people had a sneak peek earlier. <laughs> yes, they did. We have a four-pack of Phoenix Suns tickets. This is for New Year's Eve, and it will be at, what did we say, Talking Stick Resort Stick. Arena is yes. what it's called. Talking Stick I, Resort I always, Arena. when I hold the tickets, I cover it up, and I'm looking for it because it's under my thumb. And, and, it's, <laughs> and it, it is two different places because Talking Stick Resort, and then there's Talking Stick Resort Arena. So don't get those confused. This is downtown, and it's not too far from Chase Field. No, it's right? not at it's all. It's pretty close. Yeah. All right, these are for the game on December 31st. 
Suns versus the 76ers. Game time is 6 o'clock, mm -hmm. and most people will have it off anyway because it's a Sunday. Exactly. There are four tickets. They are great seats. You had the opportunity to go not too long ago, yeah. and they're valued at $150 for the four-pack. All you need to do to get entered, text the keyword SUNS, S-U-N-S, to 928-343. 0993. Anita will grab a quick shot of that phone number for those of you on Facebook Live. But 928-343-0993. To text, you do need the area code in there also. Get yes. that 928. That's and important. Text as often as you like, correct? Text as often as you like. No emojis, no signatures or anything like that. Um, it, just the word SUNS, S-U-N-S. -S. And again, you can text as many times as you like, and we encourage you to be responsible. While and the, because these are some of the, the bear tickets, they're very popular. We want to give everyone ample time. So we are giving you until noon tomorrow, noon on Thursday. Okay. to get your entries in. That way, by Thursday afternoon, we will have notified the winner. We can announce it on Friday, but give you uh, at least a week or so to make arrangements to get up to the Phoenix area for that, okay? Sounds good. All right, we're going to take a quick break here on Today in Yuma on Z93 Outlaw Country at MonsterMediaYuma.com. We'll be back after this. The show is brought to you by Classic Accounting. Let them take the stress out of doing your business payroll taxes. They are locally owned and operated. They have been since 86. Schedule your business consultation today at 343-1040. And Sprague Sports, home of Yuma's only indoor and shooting range, and they're your hunting, shooting, and Christmas headquarters for all those hunters in your family. You can find them on 32nd Street next to Lowe's. And quick refrigeration. Join me and the Z Crew as we broadcast live from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. outside JCPenney this Friday. Quick refrigeration has some exciting news to share at that event. Plus, we'll have free food, sodas, and lots of giveaways. Stop down between 11 and 1 at JCPenney. You can visit getgoquick.com for details. And Advocate Pest and Wildlife Services offers wildlife control like feral cat trapping, snake and skunk relocation, and pigeon extraction. You can give them a call at 928-343-9149, message them on Facebook, like them on Instagram, and get, don't forget today is the last day to take advantage of that buy one, get one free pest control service. Good morning, Mayor Michelle, Kenneth, and Herbert all watching <laughs> on Facebook Good morning, Live. morning, all of you. We'll be back after this with Sarah. You did, you need to text your email yourself so that you can get a hold of Sandra because today's the last day. I know. Text number. The phone number is not a text number, but you can have it. Mm -hmm. For advocate? Oh. All right, I'll have my phone piece, but advocate. See how easy this is. Advocate as to wildlife. Message. Message. <laughs> Sandra, help. I want the I know, buy one, right? get one free. <laughs> Am I too late for the buy one, get one free? It says today was the last day, so take advantage of it. I heard it on the radio. It must be true. <laughs> well, I saw, too, yesterday they they had a there few gift certificates yeah. left over to give away for their... They were doing, like, a holiday giveaway and um, a Christmas giveaway, and... They finished it, but she's like, I found a few more, so she was picking some more winners. And she's going to be bringing us something special to give away. Ooh. I have to tell you that part. You were in production yesterday. Sarah, we appreciate the love you have for our cats. Oh, <laughs> can't forget. Well, uh, the Sarah, are you talking about Sarah on Facebook this, or the Sarah? No, the Sarah. Oh, the oh Sarah, you just got a message from yeah. Sarah <laughs> Salido. She said, Good morning, oh, Jennifer. Huh? You have a check the Z93 messages. I found your perfect oh. sweater. I saw a notification <laughs> pop up, but uh, I, I didn't see it. I thought it was part of the speed. Yes. Yes, how our funny. cats are going to love you. Oh, good. Let me see what Sarah said. And then what did you make over there? I couldn't see it. Oh, I made you guys some pumpkin bread and some brownies. Ooh! Yummy! Just to say thank you. Today's a sweet day. Yes. I'm excited. <laughs> I can eat that stuff all day. <laughs> it's, it's, this is my cat sweater, and it's got two pockets for cats, and it's got the built-in. Oh, yeah. I've seen that. Oh, how cute! I think Sarah needs one. <laughs> Oh, there it is. Got it bigger there. How cute. <laughs> Kangaroo pouch. Pocket hoodie. Oh, how funny is that? They have pink and gray. All right. Could get one of each. <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer has made some pretty monumental strides with the cats out there. Oh, this last couple days. Oh, yeah. She said she was able to touch Fig's tail. Oh. And she actually touched Sofo. I, I pet Sofo in the head. It wasn't like I sat there and I was going like this. I no. did that and she ran away, so I right. went the other way. So. 
Yeah. yeah. Well, they, the routine has changed in the morning because Fig would appear by himself on the fence waiting when I pulled up. Mm -hmm. Well, now it's Safo and the twins. There's two Siamese. <laughs> And Safo's probably about four years old. I think she's older than that. Really? Yeah. Um, I'm trying to gauge base on the name, but uh, they're all looking very good. They, the lady over here at the second house off class, and I think she, I think that's where they originate. Okay. And but so Safo and the twins eat. Fig doesn't come till later. Oh. He lets the girls but eat, and then it, and I out. feed them. I pour the food in a row, so it's like they're lined up at their trough. Right. They yeah. will share a bowl, but. <laughs> I know, it's just Three easier, heads trying to get in I there. Know. Yep. <laughs> They're not uh, tiny. Jocelyn Bates says, say hi to Sarah for me. Oh, hi, Jocelyn. She's on Facebook Live. Oh. I keep getting the, I gotta stand over here. The yeah, sun. There's a sun. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there was a, I'm like, what is that on my shoulder? Earlier, <laughs> yeah. It says sun strike. All right, are we ready? Yep. Aww. <laughs> That's sweet. All right, you ready? Welcome back to Today in Yuma. I'm Jennifer. I'm Teresa. And I'm Sarah. That's right. You didn't forget her today. No. <laughs> Sorry about Same that, my Allison. Cues. She, she, she messed up Allison yesterday. Oh, she <laughs> <laughs> Well, we want to thank you so much. You brought goodies in for us today. I did, and I brought them to say thank you to you for everything you've done this year and for the couple of field trips you've taken to the different libraries and for posting things online for people. And as a matter of fact, I understand the, the latest field trip was yesterday. Yes, yes, it was. You were out at the Foothills branch taking care of business, so we, we missed you. Yes, I, I missed your visit. <laughs> How did it go? It went really good. Um, it was funny because I we, we, we didn't let anybody know we were coming but you. <laughs> So the gentleman behind the counter seemed a little scared when we told him we were going to be Facebook living, um, but it was a lot of fun and it was super super easy. Um, we were able to knock out those fines and nice. um, it, like I said, it was super easy. I, they just I didn't have my son, it's under my son's name, so I didn't have his card with me. So they were able to pull it up for me real quick and we. He checked all the expiration dates on the cans. Unfortunately, I think I had dropped one, so it was a little bit dented. Oh, okay. But that's okay because I'm going to give it to um, Barbara tomorrow when she comes for the for the Crossroads mission. But yeah, we I think we put a pretty good dent in your um, food for fines bin yeah. that you have. Oh, she owed ten dollars, and apparently my fine had amassed to thirty four dollars and eighty cents. Oh my! So she had all my extras, and then we did have extras <laughs> that we could yeah, use. Yeah, I I had thirty six cans, okay. and she had purchased. Oh, I think I, I did 20. Yeah, so we had a little bit extra. We figured, okay, well, there you go. Yeah. And they went and they flipped them over, checked the expirations, and, you know, checks for check for the denting and stuff. Because, mm -hmm. like we say, make sure they have labels. They're not dented or expired. Right. And uh, they will go to a good cause. Yes. Well, thank you for participating yeah. and for sharing it with everybody. Oh, yeah, definitely. And, you know, um, just a suggestion, because uh, we kind of struggled. Sure. Um, if you have a large amount of cans, just run in and ask for a cart. Yes, you can. Instead of yes. trying to carry them in, I think that's might be where we lost a couple that we oh. had a dent in my can <laughs> the, the, or so. But. The little flats that I purchased, I took them right off the shelf and they cut the front of the box off. So it doesn't right. hold them all so they were sliding. So I put mm -hmm. them in bags and then I had a blow tw two blowouts all the way in. <laughs> oh. And we were shoving everything into one bag and there was a nice landscaper out there and I was going to go around one way and he just finished trimming stuff in the middle. I didn't want to poke a bag. So he, mm -hmm. he let me through there. But, oh, and then, yes. we, then we saw the cart behind the counter. And we joked about needing one, but I figured, nah, it's, we, we got this. We it's got right. this. We definitely yeah. needed one. Well, we had, a, like, what, 55 cans yeah. or something like oh, that? Oh, you don't bend wow. them. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we'll put that out there. Like, car curbside service available <laughs> for those <laughs> paying, paying multiple fines. Now, if you do have fines or you would simply like to make a donation at any of the branches, they have until the 23rd? That's right. Saturday the 23rd at 5 p.m. is the cutoff. Anytime before that, bring them on in. All right, and just go up to the counter, tell them what your name is. Or I, I had my library card. Mm -hmm. I even flat. Do you see the shot of it on Facebook Live? I did. She I have like old one, one of the old school. Right? I, I, just, I just keep uh, refreshing it because some if I don't go very often, which has happened, mm -hmm. uh, they lose me in the system, and then oh. they just reactivate okay. it. Mm -hmm. and, and she also. Uh, put the blame on the fines on her son. Yeah. Oh, oh, it, it was uh -huh. She goes, I've only read two books this year. It was not me. <laughs> <laughs> maybe it's maybe it's three. I'm reading a third one right now. Okay. 
However, it was it was all Jace Blackwell. <laughs> and he goes, why do you keep throwing me under the bus oh, on, on right? the show? I go, it was not me. Hey, at least we know he's reading, and that's true. a good thing. Yes, it is. It's very true. It is. And it goes to a good cause. So. Exactly. It's all good. <laughs> all right. Well, you have several things coming up at the different branches. We're going to talk about the VR experience. Yes, that's happening tonight at our main library at 6.30 p.m. We're inviting uh, ages 13 and older to come and try out our new virtual reality systems. We have the Oculus Rift and the PlayStation 4, and this is part of our assistive technology program that uh, we've talked about a little bit on the yeah. show a couple of times. We uh, received a grant from the State Library to purchase assistive equipment for those with either physical or mental disabilities. It's things as simple as, as a pen that you run over text and it reads to you. It helps with uh, those with dyslexia. It helps Keep, keep the words in order for you. Uh, up to bigger technology, we have a tap it platform that is height adjustable. The, the screen, it's like a big flat screen TV and it swivels and tilts. So if you're in a wheelchair or maybe you use a walker, it makes the screen accessible. So it's That's like you're, awesome. you're touching your desktop and opening applications. Um, so the virtual reality systems are just another way of expanding that program and creating a, a, a different kind of learning environment. Um, it's supposed to be very helpful with people who are autistic or on the autism spectrum um, who are easily distracted and the, the virtual reality systems are all immersive. You've got goggles on, you've got headphones on, so you're completely immersed in this 3D environment and distractions are at a minimum. So it's supposed to be very helpful with your learning. And this is for those 13 and older? That's right, yeah. The, the, the equipment's a little bit big. It's bulky. You've got this great big headset to put on and then uh, headphones over that. So, so right now, yeah, it's for 13 and older, so teens and adults. Have you actually tried it? I did. I tried it two weeks ago. We had a, 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 another program to try them did out. Did you try them both? or? No, I tried. I was using the PlayStation 4, uh -huh. and I, I tried a, um, a little simulation where you're in a shark cage, and they lower Ooh. you down to look at a, a ship. I couldn't finish, and I got scared. <laughs> did you really? <laughs> yes, because a great white shark attacks your, oh my your goodness. cage, and, I, and it's funny because I'll go see any shark movie or you know i love like shark week but it was intense I, and i finally i finally had to say oh i'm, I'm done i can't do this anymore <laughs> it, it's funny because you see you know now with our smartphones and things you see the little vr boxes that you can buy for your smartphones and things yeah. and um we had one i think it was actually last christmas and we oh goodness she's gonna kill me for t i'm not gonna give her give out her name but one of kevin's aunties we had it on her and there was a similar one. They had a shark one. They had a couple of different ones. And she's jumping and she's right. like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. And then I, of course, me being me, I walk up to her and I startle her. <laughs> oh, she makes it even worse because, you know, and you do with these VR um, glasses and especially those ones, the actual VR headsets, yeah. you get so Im engulfed in what you're doing. You, you forget. You kind of go to that place. I know the you schools... Do. Um, take virtual reality field trips oh, to different things. Eli's class has done a couple of them, mm -hmm. um, and I think it's fantastic because sometimes you know you may not be able to afford to get out and do these trips, and some of these places they've been are out of the country. You know, right. so you may not be able to actually experience them, you know, in real life. But here's the next best thing, and exactly. it's and it's free to attend. It oh. is. There's no charge to attend. It's from six thirty to eight o'clock tonight at our main library. Sounds right. good. And we also also have a winter solstice star party. Yeah, say that three times fast. No, nope. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to try. Usually, usually you do try. I couldn't say some kind of pork loin this morning without oh, messing we up. We couldn't say ob obligatory. Obligatory. Uh, uh, now no. I can. Now yeah. you can. Now that the pressure's off. <laughs> <laughs> well, the winter solstice star party is happening at our Welton Library tomorrow at six p.m. And they will be joined by our friends from the Foothills Library. They're coming out with the telescopes that the friends of the Foothills Library purchased. They're taking the show on the road over to the Welton Library where there should be <coughs> very minimal light pollution. They'll be talking just a little bit about what's happening in the night sky and then have uh, a chance for everybody to look through the telescopes. And again, no charge to attend. And this is a, a really fun event for all ages. It's always really nice to see how excited the kids get to uh, look through the telescopes and see things up close. So that's happening tomorrow at the Welton Library at 6 p.m. And the Lego holiday. I think this is something that um, 
is my speed. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I love Legos. Not not on the ground, or well, not underfoot. That's right. That's you don't want to stop by that. Right. Yeah, but yeah, I was gonna say, you know, uh, it's it's geared towards. Well, we have children of all ages in the description, and and we we should put, uh, you know, child at heart or big kids who <laughs> like to play with Legos too. I'm, I'm someone's child. Yeah. Well, and you know, you get some parents in there. They're, they're in there and they're into it. You so. know, I did see um, this. This uh, thing on Facebook where they basically make um, cat statues out of Legos, but I was going to order it for her, but then um, she advised me that she would not build it. Oh, <laughs> that means okay. I would have had to build it, and I probably didn't have the patience because it looked like quite a few pieces. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I, 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 I will pieces. just admire what other yeah, people create. Yeah, yeah so. <laughs> but yes, this is happening at our San Luis Library at 2 p.m. on Saturday. We're inviting families to come and uh, build holiday themed things like Christmas trees or presents or whatever you can make out of Legos. You can build it. And uh, again, that's at San Luis at 2 p.m. on Saturday. No charge to attend and maybe just a nice way to, to spend the Saturday before Christmas. Maybe chill out just chill a little out bit. Chill out just a little bit. <laughs> yeah, sit down, play with Legos. It'll be very therapeutic, I think. Mm -hmm. yeah, I love Lincoln Logs. Well, those are remember good those? Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Remember the Lincoln yeah. Logs. And yeah. oh, I, building the little pastures and mm -hmm. cabin houses, and mm -hmm. I remember, and they came with what looked like little, little Lego animals. I remember those yeah. Yeah. little farm animals. Oh. Do they still have them? Yes. Yeah, they I still have them. Do they? I think they're like the retro toy now, or the classic one. Yeah, exactly. They are, but they're, they're still around. Well, you have your Nintendos and your Ataris yeah. and your right, your retro toys. Everything yes. in the 80s coming back. Right. right. Those if are you, fun. If you saved all that, you're probably in a pretty good spot, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. All right, now what about library closures for holiday hours? Right, it's pretty simple this year since uh, Christmas is on a Monday. Um, all libraries are closed on Sunday anyway, and then only main library is usually open on Monday, so it'll just be really the main library that's closed Monday the 25th and then uh, Monday, January 1st for New Year as well. And then all the libraries will be open at their regular times the, the following Tuesday. So just, just the holiday themselves is when we're closed. Sounds good. Sounds mm -hmm. like a plan. Yeah. Again, if you have your food for fun, you'd like to take care of, get the books cleared going on into the new year, you have until 5 o'clock on the 23rd. That's right. And you don't have to have a fun. If you'd just like to drop some items off for donation, that is is also easy to do us yes. at any of the branches. Yes. Now, were the ones inside the schools closed already, though? I believe they have limited hours. Okay. Uh, I think one is, is completely closed and the other they're offering limited hours, but since the schools are on holiday break. Okay. I would just call and double check. Yes, definitely. Always a good idea. If that's the case. Mm -hmm. All right, our guest today, Sarah Wisdom with Yuma County Library District. Thank you so much for Thank the goodies. You. And the cats appreciate you also. Yes, they do. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to take a break and then take our Lotus Day Spot and Salon Selfie with Sarah out in the courtyard. We'll be back after this. It is brought to you by Classic Accounting. Tax season is coming and Classic Accounting has over 30 years of tax experience. They're locally owned and operated. They've been around since 1986 with two locations to serve you. Call 343-1040. And Sprague Sports, the Sprague's family is proud to offer Yuma shooters a clean, comfortable, safe place to shoot, train, and educate. The range facility is dedicated to the memory of George W. Sprague, a die, die hard shooter, competitor, and gun enthusiast. You can find them on 32nd Street next to Lowe's. And Quick Refrigeration, they're also family owned and operated, and they've been heating and cooling Yuma since 1955. Stop down to JCPenney in the Yuma Palms this Friday from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. as Z93 broadcast live. I will be there with the Z crew. Come spend the prize wheel, enjoy free hot dog sodas, and find out about their special offers. That's getcoolquick.com for quick refrigeration. And Advocate Pest and Wildlife Services have been serving the Yuma area for over 20 years. They're licensed with the Arizona Game and Fish Department for safe, humane wildlife relocation. You can give them a call at 928-343-9149 or do like Jen just did on the break and message them on Facebook to take advantage of that buy one, get one free service that expires today. That's right. We'll be back with Today in Yuma on Z93 Outlaw Country Monster Media Yuma.com after this. Righty, righty, righty. Maybe we can get big in the photo. <laughs> Baby. No, he's just <laughs> Photoshop. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'll do. There you go. We have, we have lots of pictures. Yeah, him hissing with. <laughs> All right. 
It is a beautiful day. It is. It's a lot more. It, I was freezing when I came in, but it's a lot better now. Smile. You know the Michigan girl has lived here too long. Yeah, she, thinks it's cold. she thinks it's cold. <laughs> I'm like, I love it. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> See her next week? Yes, I will. Okay. All right. Okay. Bye, Sarah. Christmas. Yes, have a very Merry Christmas. Day, Sarah. You're welcome. I'm gonna take some of the citrus home, I think. Is it time yes. to pick it? Yes. Okay. The the grapefruit and the, the mm. oranges. Especially these that get the full sun exposure, those are ready. Maybe we'll do that this afternoon. I'm like I'm, I'm like, oh yeah. Grapefruit sound really Remind good. Remind me to talk about table decorations. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, am I playing devil's advocate? Probably. Remind me Your later. table de decorations the other day were really pretty. They were, they looked good. They were nice. Okay, thank you for that. Yeah, I thought that they did it. No. I did too at first, and then when I saw Jacob doing the cleanup after. I know, and Cassie was like, I'm taking this pomegranate. <laughs> I was like, who it took the pomegranate? It was <laughs> She was like, because it, it did, it looked really, really She's good. She's pregnant. She gets a pass. She gets I know it's, it's perfectly fine, but I'm like practical. I like practical things. I hate, I hate so waste. So did you go, so what did you do to, to get the pine tree? Did you go to like Home Depot or something and get the excess? There, it's is actually it cypress oh, okay. or, is it, or cedar. Cypress or cedar. I can't remember what she called oh, it okay. now, but I went to um, All Seasons. Oh, okay. And got it there. It's funny because when I go to get my Christmas tree, and, oh, I forgot. Maybe I'll have to stop by there. But usually they cut the end off, mm -hmm. and I get those to throw them in the fire. Because it smells good. It smells so good. So I'm going to have to go grab some. We, we, um, <coughs> we used to, we, when we would get our tree, our fresh tree, we'd cut the end off. But I would, I would have them, because you, you could cut quite a bit off. Yeah. I would have them slice a one-inch piece. And then we'd write the year, oh, and then like cool. make who, an ornament out of it. And who like, like uh, 1995? It was Tim um, Lawrence and I. Oh, okay. And so we would write the names of who were part of our I family, see, or I like see. if we had special guests for that Christmas, That's we would write those idea. names on it. That is a neat and idea. then you remember, uh, like, cause a, lot, a lot of times you look at pictures and you go, "What year was this?" But with that, I can look at the back of it and go, "Oh, that's the year we were with Grandma." Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's cool. That's that a was good idea. ninety-seven. Do we have a winner. Yes. Okay. I'm calling Foodie Licious over here. Yeah, let's go ahead and call her over. Foodie Licious. Oh. Uh, Foodie Licious. Okay. Remind me to um, after the show we'll talk about the phone. I got a message from Brandon. He was here last night when yeah. I was leaving. It was funny because he came in and I'm in production. And he opens the door. I hear it open. and He's like. Teresa, Teresa, and I'm like, oh, thank you, because you would have scared the crap out of me if you just and walk in. Santa is a little under the weather, Aww. but he, he, he will try. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, are we ready? Yes, ma'am. You don't see a hand sneaking in there. Nope. nope. Mm. Welcome. Welcome back to Today in Yuma. I'm Jennifer. And I'm Teresa. And I'm Anita. And we've got Foodie Licious Janice on the camera now. Yay, me! <laughs> because it is WTF Wednesday, and that means we bring Anita in the... Well, she's in the studio with us anyway. Uh, anyways. We flip her on the other side of the camera. <laughs> yes, we do. And she always brings us such wonderful, inspiring things positivity we always welcome that in the studio so today what do you have for us today well, um, I was thinking about the holiday is really literally next week so on Monday and we the countdown has begun we have what, what is it five days left five Four. days left so um, this tends to be crunch time for most people um, I'm actually ahead of the game this year I, I made you guys I was able to make cinnamon rolls this morning yes that's <laughs> way ahead of the game we are appreciative <laughs> well we are appreciative but um, Sorry that you didn't get any sleep last night. <laughs> it's, all good, it's, all good, it's all good. I enjoy. I enjoy the fact that you enjoy makes me enjoy. But I was. I, I've been thinking. I'm pondering. You know, the, the things that bring stress into our lives, and especially now we have five days left to Christmas. A lot of people are, are. Are. I know a lot of people who are at that that precipice in the in the holiday season where they're like, "What do I do? I haven't got all my gifts. I don't have the money to get this, or I don't have the funds to do that. I do. I you know, but do I buy food or do I buy gifts and it becomes a stressful time, and I think we get caught up in the idea that it's all about having to buy things for people, and that's not what the holiday season's about. 
And sometimes we need to pull ourselves back and look at what is it about? What is what is Christmas about? And it's about family. Yes. It's about community. It's about giving every gift that God has given us to better the world around us. And how are you doing that? It doesn't have to be through monetary things. Um, the, sh the sharing of your talent in um, a nonprofit organization is a huge treasure for those who are a recipient of the gift that you're sharing. Um, spending time with your family members. As challenging as it can be, I think a lot of times we have those uh, individuals within our families that bring us stress. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes it's, it's nice to step back and go, okay, what makes this person enjoy? <coughs> uh, let's focus on that. And then instead of focusing on the things that make them challenging, um, let's focus on the things that, make, that bring us joy. I have one in my own household that I have to constantly remind myself, this is a child of God. <laughs> And he brings great things to us and I, because he challenges me daily. So I have to remember, you know, mm -hmm. um, he, he has feelings too. And as frustrated as I feel, he's probably feeling it 10 times more mm -hmm. because he, he doesn't have the same communication ability that we do as adults. Mm -hmm. So a lot of it tends to be pinned up within and it comes out in aggression. So I have to remember to step back and go, okay, wait a minute, what's going on here? You are a child of God, and I love you, and God put you in my life for a reason. And adolescence is a very difficult time it's for those so going through it and those witnessing them going through it. <laughs> <laughs> it precisely. And, you know, we, we talked about patience at the beginning of the show, and the same thing applies there. But think, if, if there weren't those challenges, how boring life would be to them. True. <laughs> well, well, they often test our patience and, and, and other limits. Uh, we love them unconditionally. Absolutely. <laughs> and anything too, it helps me to look at things. For this particular individual, puts things in perspective for me, because um, I think the kindness counter talked about how um, don't, you know we take things for granted a lot. Yeah. What people do for us. So I need to remember to show that act of, that I recognize his acts of kindness, even if they're small. Taking out the trash without being asked. Yes. A big deal, and it should be um, acknowledged. Um, or just when he manages to say kind words instead of biting someone's heads off, because that tends to be the reaction. Yep. Hey, thank he you instantly, for that. instantly, yes, exactly. Acknowledge acknowledging that he, the effort he made. So um, we always, I think every family has that one person, the protagonist, the pot stirrer. <laughs> <laughs> um, I do, I do it not to antagonize people, but just to pick on them. That's what, that's my job. I, I try I try to do it to be I, I do it to be funny and and try and bring it lighthearted heartedness to you know the situations and things. But sometimes I do pick on people on purpose. So <laughs> no, it's, it's all it's all in you. it's all in good fun. It really <laughs> is. I promise. <laughs> so, but I think that you know, in in all honesty, we're we're in that point in our in our journey to. Christmas that um, there's there's we're going to meet those points of frustration. Let's let's remember the things that bring us joy, mm -hmm. and if if you're focusing on monetary items that you can't give, change your focus. Mm -hmm. Change your focus. Just spending time with individuals is what we what we tend to desire the most. It's not the big TV or new electronic device or video game that's going to be obsolete in six months. Mm -hmm. it, those aren't the things that you're going to remember for the rest of your lives. It's the conversations that you have sitting around your, your kitchen table or even just ba uh, breaking bread with one another or creating a meal with someone. Yes, yeah, so just that, sitting. The, the kitchen is the heart of the home. It truly is. And because it's also the way to many people's hearts. Yes. <laughs> so, well, and, and, I, and that's kind of what we, we decided to do this year because, of course, you know, you want to buy gifts for everybody, but unfortunately it's just not possible. Right. Um, it really isn't. So one of the things that we, we've been doing the last few years is, you know, having people over, you know, we're having a bonfire over and it, all of my, you know, best friends and things like that, that unfortunately we're not able to buy gifts for, we are gathering together and spending that time together and the kids are spending, our kids are spending their time together. So it's, it's nice to have, and like you said, those are memories that we remember and every time, you know, we see a picture or something like that pops up, it's like, oh, we need to do that again. Right. <laughs> we need to, <laughs> and it is a time to just sit back, relax and enjoy each other, enjoy each other's company and so I'm looking forward to that you know this coming weekend I'm glad that you know I have my family coming from Phoenix Lisa's coming in town and you know I don't have a sister I have, I have two brothers you know and but growing up it was just me Michael and Lisa you know 
for the longest time. And I consider her, she's my cousin, she's but I can, she's my sister, you know, she doesn't have any siblings either. And, you know, she's the one that I go to when I'm having a hard time or, hey, this is super funny. I need to call you and, and, <laughs> right. and tell you about this, you know, type of thing. So it's nice to have everybody in one place. And, and, and that's what we're doing this weekend. I'm super excited. And just it. doing things that you enjoy, you know, and spending that time with one another. I, to me, that is the biggest treasure. Mm -hmm. I look back at Christmas's past and, and the company that we've been able to keep. And this year it'll be a different company because a lot of those people have passed. They're no longer mm -hmm. with us. Um, you know, I lost uh, family members really young. And I think about that. And um, my, every day is a gift. We mm -hmm. need to treasure it. You don't know what tomorrow's going to bring. So uh, take advantage of today and, re and remove stress from your life. Stress, stress is not something you need. Well, one way that you can remove stress is by taking a nice bubble bath <laughs> or a relaxing shower. <laughs> and we have a fabulous sponsor, Bare Naked SoCo, and they sponsor the WTF page at MonsterMediaYuma.com. And Anita has our winner this I week. I do have our winner this week. Dun, 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 dun. Girl, please. This week's winner is Christy Lean. Congratulations, Christy. Wow. Yes, congratulations. congratulations. And Christy is going to be the proud, proud owner of a $20 gift card to Bare Naked Soap Co. So she can pick out her favorite items. Yes. That's right. And they still have some Christmas and holiday goodies if you're looking for gifts or stocking stuffers or something to pamper yourself because you've let all the stress get to you right. and you want to relax. <laughs> so I was there yesterday actually picking up some items. I, I I found out that my mother-in-law likes a specific scent. And I'm like, oh, bonus. I'll go there and pick up these things that I know that she has on yeah. hand. And poor Sam. We need to lift the Sam up right now. And hopefully that her her team, her staff is feeling better. But they, they've come down with the crud. Oh, yeah. No. They've all come mm. down with the crud, unfortunately. So, so. She, she was manning, it, uh, manning this, the homestead alone and, and uh, having a tough time yesterday. So well, let's just say know, a little prayer you know, and, and, and we, it, it, you know, we don't think about that, you know. We have these, you know, people in the community, not just the local businesses, but all around that have to deal with the public. People mm -hmm. handing you dirty money or just coughed or sneezed right. in their hand. Put your hand sanitizer, people, please, right. you know. Because, and that's why, you know, we've been tri doubling and tripling up on our vitamin C because it is. It's that time of year. So sure is. I hope you guys feel better, Sam. She needs to right. make a formula that's called kick in the crud. Yeah, kick, Ooh, kick in the crud. Kick in the crud. That's a good one. That's a good one. All right. Thank you so much, Anita, no, for coming in. Guys. And congratulations to Christy and thank you, Veronica Soko. Yes. We are going to take a break here on Today in Yuma on Z93, Outlaw Country, MonsterMediaYuma.com. And we will be back after this break. Don't forget, text the keyword SUNS to 928-343-0993 to enter to win that four-pack of SUNS tickets. We'll be back. Yeah, it could be, it could have lavender to help you sleep. It could have eucalyptus to help you breathe easier. I was, I was trying to think of the eucalyptus, and I'm thinking the echinacea. I don't know, isn't that in a cough drop or something? Echinacea yeah, is, it boosts your immune system. Plant. It's a blood purifier boost. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So, how was what, what did you have? I had fudge. Is it fudge or brownie? brownie? Well, it tasted pretty fudgy to me. It was good. <laughs> she said brownie. What did you mean? It had a good chocolatey layer on top. Guess what's for dinner today? <laughs> and they're Are little tiny bites. Bite it? <laughs> it is. It's a small bite. I, yeah. See, when I bring my almonds and my cranberries, I save all my sandwich bags here. So yeah. I had a bag to put the rest of my cinnamon roll in. There you go. Keep it fresh. Why not just eat it? Here's you my emergency drawer in my office. There's a couple Ziplocs, just in case. You never know. Your you emergency never, drawer is You might hilarious. have an emergency and need some Ziplocs. <laughs> no, her emergency drawer is pretty cool. <laughs> I gotta say. A piece of foil, you know. <laughs> All right, I saw it one day and I was like, she goes, hold on, let me check. And she opens this drawer and she goes, I go, whoa. She goes, it's my emergency drawer. And she's Prepare going for the this. apocalypse in case I'm at the office yeah, and I'm prepared. I could see that. <laughs> Thank you, Janice. Did you see the message somebody sent us on the Z page? Somebody was looking for the foodylicious yummy to be sent to them. Like, yummy! Oh, oh, that's fun. <laughs> I saw it yesterday. I, I wasn't at the computer to do it, so. Michael, we sure will. He says, keep our daughter Evie in your thoughts and prayers, who's five and getting ready for next surgery tomorrow. Oh. 
Is it Phoenix Children's I'm Hospital? Sure it is. That's yeah. where Benny's at too. I was thinking about him this morning. Any news on Benny? Um, I haven't seen an update. I'll he, have to double You know check. what? Um, his Sally posted was it m Sunday or Monday? I'm not sure. That I think it was his blood sugar levels had changed drastically, which was for the better. That meant something was starting to work again. So I, you know, like JC's version of tidbit news, I saw, I, I read part of it, but then I think I saw a squirrel and I got sidetracked, but, but hey, that's that a was because they, yeah. they were, they uh, were positive or a little bit optimistic from that. Good. Good morning, Good. Vicente and Darren. Hello, Darren and Christine. <laughs> Darren gives the best hugs. Darren does. He's like the... I was going to say, which Darren is it? Hi, Darren. <laughs> that Darren. Darren. Finger. Yep. The hugmeister. <laughs> and it's funny because you, you're hugging him. He's like, nope, I'm not done yet. <laughs> All righty. Have you seen that neck sling thing on Facebook? It's supposed to be like... The neck sling? It's called like, I don't know what it's called, but it's like a sling and you attach it to like a door or a railing and you're, it, it caught it, like put your neck basically in traction and help straighten all of this. Wow. Just, I'm let like, me, let me tell you, your yeah. neck to the wall. Well, so it's I, just like, yeah, you have to be tethered. You know, like, like, it's just like, it's just like, well, we did, we, when Eli, no, I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. It's we just like being in that, traction, well, but we for your neck. That to Eli, um, like when we were out in the desert and stuff, and the, because he would fall asleep in his chair and he'd right. be over like this, and, um, we'd get like our sweater or whatever we had and put his head back. Otherwise he's like flopping around like this. I'm like, I know that can't be comfortable. So we would <laughs> tie a sweater around and hold his head up. So he was sleeping in his head and would stay back. All right, Michael, is it Evie or Evie? I'm not sure. She's listening on the radio. She's not oh, okay. watching right now. So we'll, we'll, get, like we'll give her a shout out. It does look like Evie. Okay. <laughs> that that sounds so scary. It's, it's not, awesome. it's supposed to be like, I don't know. You just use your weight, is like it the to help your posture. No, it's or? to help like stress. When you look down like this, I mean, look how much yeah. you look down here, and then you put your neck back. You're like, oh. It's like you know, like when you go in and you have a, you get aligned. It's like aligning your neck. Okay. Okay. To help remove that tension and stress. Are we ready? Alrighty. Welcome back to Today and You. I'm Jennifer. And I'm Teresa. We are here live on Z93, Outlaw Country, MonsterMediaYuma.com, and the FTS Automotive Facebook live feed. Just a reminder, the show will be off on Christmas Day and December 26th also. Yes. But we'll be back with Bells On on the 27th. Yes, and we, we're just going to take that time to spend time with our families. And, you know, a lot of people have, you know, family in town and late dinners and things. So we just want a day to recuperate and get our houses back in normal, back to normal shape. And uh, we'll be back, though, on Wednesday. That's right. And we do want to say good morning to Evie. She is five years old and she is watch or she's listening to the show on the radio right now. Yes. And we want to let her know that we are thinking of her and we send her lots of luck. She's having surgery tomorrow. Yes. And that we will keep her in our thoughts and prayers. And we hope definitely. you have a very Merry Christmas, Evie. Yes, definitely. We definitely keep you in our prayers and it's not scary at all. Don't be worried. Everything's going to be just fine. You know what? Today is the 20th. It is National Sangria Day. Anita was just talking about sangria. I love sangria. <laughs> she was just talking about it. That's funny. I don't even think she realized that it was sangria day when we were talking about it. There this you morning. go. It's also National Mud Day, and that's M-U-D-D. -D, okay. And it's observed annually on December 20th. That's the birthday of Dr. Samuel Mudd. Mm -hmm. And this... This might take you back in history a little bit. Uh, just a little bit to a little, 1865, a maybe? After assassinating President Lincoln on April 14th, 1865, Books rode with co-conspirator David Harold to Mudd's home in the early hours of the 15th for surgery on his fractured leg before crossing into Virginia. And sometime that day, Mudd must have learned of the assassination but didn't report Booth's visit to the authorities for another 24 hours. Things moved a little differently back then as they do say. now. The delay appeared to link him to the crime, as did his various changes of the story while under interrogation. Then on April 26, authorities arrested Mudd. A military commission found him guilty of aiding and conspiring in a murder, and he was sentenced to life imprisonment, escaping the death penalty by just a single vote. 
President Andrew Johnson pardoned Mudd, and he was released from prison in 1869. And despite multiple attempts by family members and others, his conviction has never been overturned, nor has his record been expunged. So we have a day celebrating him? Well, it's his birthday today, so it's recognition oh, okay, because it is, I see. it's a very important part, it of, is a part of U.S. Of history. history. Yes, it is. So there you go. You, there's your history lesson for the day. <laughs> and a reminder, today is the deadline for our students to get signed up for the Night to Shine. Today this is. is what our friends from the Vertical Church spoke about on Friday. It's sponsored by the Tim Tebow Foundation. The prom isn't until February 9th, but they want an accurate head count of the students that will be coming. Because there was only 75 slots? Or yes, 75. Right. There's just 75 slots, and this is for people with special needs that are 14 and older. Mm -hmm. So if you have a, a young lady or a young man in your family or you know someone that this would be a great event for, please get them the information. Vertical Church has information on their Facebook page. Again, registration is re is required and space is limited. And and today is the deadline, but they did say if they did not reach their goal of 75 people that they would extend that. So we'll be getting an update from them in the next couple of days to let you know if you, there is still space, indeed space available. Um, so we'll have an update for you here shortly. That's right. And their email, if you'd like to request more information that way or to register, it's info at the vertical church church.com or you can call it 726-3007. Sounds good. I think that's going to be such an awesome time. I definitely agree. Now we want to let you know that on Christmas Eve, which is on Sunday, mm -hmm. many people will be wondering about the whereabouts of Santa Claus. Yes. Well, Z93 will keep you posted. Yes, because I love it. As he begins his journey, we've done this for a number of years and I remember watching on TV when I was based on the house we lived in, probably nine. Yeah, I remember. And we would follow his journey courtesy of NORAD. That's the North American Aeronautical, I don't remember the rest of it. Um, <laughs> I've typed it out many times, but see, when I put on the spot, I forget. Z93 will be sa tracking Santa's journey mm -hmm. all across the world, and we start Oh, my goodness. Just after midnight on the 24th. Yes. And you'll get updates every hour. So if you're driving around, you're running more errands, going to visit the grandparents, just enjoying family time together on exactly. Christmas Eve, you will be able to find out where the big jolly guy is on his travels. Yes, I, and I think it's super cute. I I will turn on my radio um, periodically so I can let Eli know, hey, you know, it's, you know what, hey, he's not very far. It's time for you to get in bed, you know, because oh, yeah. you and have to be asleep in order for him to come. They even get updates from the space station because they can see him from oh, all the way that up there, That is so too. cool. That is so cool. But just stay tuned to Z93, and you can follow his journey throughout the day. Yes, and don't North forget. And, oh, sorry. Go ahead. And he is going to tell us what NORAD North stands for. American. Um, aerospace Defense. I don't have the last word. It used to be called something different. But North American Aerospace, aerospace. Defense, uh, Defense Command. There you go. Okay. Okay. <laughs> She's wondering. <laughs> now, <laughs> now, if people think way back when, it actually, the NORAD tracking Santa goes back to a phone number. Yes. In a newspaper that was incorrect. And it was back in 1955, and someone called that phone number looking or wanting to know the whereabouts of Santa. So they went ahead and assisted with all uh, yes, the technology, and that's when it actually started. That's way back super when. Cool. That's so NORAD cool. tracks Santa. They do have apps also. Yes. And you can uh, track them on your phone or online too. Yes. But again, if you're driving around, it's just a way to keep it on Z93 here all the time. <laughs> Christmas music cool. and things taking place. Real quick, I know we have a short time left. Three days of Christmas starts on uh, Saturday. Saturday, Mexican food dinner from 11 to 1. Mm -hmm. Sunday, a roast beef dinner from 11 to 1. And Christmas Day, turkey dinner. And I seen yesterday that they were looking for any extra Christmas decorations. Yes, any kind. Someone said ornaments or lights, both, because they have a pretty large facility there and yes. they want to have it all decked out and make it lots of fun. All right, really quick here in the last minute of the show, we have another pair of tickets for the uh, Human Nightmares Twas the Fright Before Christmas. Ooh. Text the keyword fright, F-R-I-G-H-T, into the message, the monster message line at 928 Three four three zero nine nine three. You have until noon to get that in, and you will win this pair of tickets valued at twelve dollars. Again, that's Human Nightmares. Twas the fright before Christmas. Our staff will be going on Saturday yeah, night, so have a chance to come hang out with us on Saturday if they decide to go. That's right. Have a wonderful day. Z ninety three Outlaw Country Monster Media Yuma dot com. We will see you tomorrow between nine and ten on all of those outlets and Facebook Live. 
Thank you so much. Coming up next on Z93, it's the Bob and Sherry Show. And on Outlaw Country, classic country music, the favorite music you grew up with. KCYK Yuma and KLJZ Yuma. Hi, Larry. You have a great right. day, too. Thank you, have everyone. Thanks, Anita. Bye, guys. Have a fabulous day.